So just a lot of news that happened over the weekend and just yesterday, you got the Tesla Model Y being released. Not only that, but apparently there's now 50,000 orders on launch day. You've got a message or reporting from German media that Giga Berlin is supposed to also start to um, you know, put the Model Y for sale there. And right now it's for sale in 12 countries in Asia Pacific. You got news of Morgan Stanley increasing their price targets with a bull case of $800. You got FSD going wide release in a for, for the first time ever. One single uh, software update is, in, is included FSD version 12.6 for AI3 cars at the same time as 13.2.4 for AI4 cars. That's pretty cool. You got uh, kind of some rumors here that Elon is being asked by the Chinese government to possibly as one option is selling TikTok to them as that uh, apparently that in about a week or so, they might need to make some drastic, uh, you know, <laughs> that they've been banned in the U.S. They need to have, take some action. You got OpenAI now hiring roles for a new robotics division. They've made that pivot. I don't know how, how big that is. And then back to FSD again, you got a number of uh, top executives talking about how great Tesla's FSD is. You got Su Ching Huawei executive saying it's, it's the best. You've got uh, the Xiaomi CEO saying that uh, Tesla is five to 10 years ahead. And then you've got, um, uh, yeah, I, I guess a few more other folks. I just, let me take a look at here. What am I forget, forgetting here? Oh yeah, George Hotz of uh, CEO of Comma AI saying how it's great as well. So, you know, we're making some moves, some big ones. Why don't we start with the test, the Model Y? That seems to be so far a pretty, um, you know, still early. We don't know yet, but it looks like that it's a, looking like it's a great release. Uh, do you want to kick us off, um, Omar? What's your thoughts on the Model Y? Hey, yeah. So super exciting to see this new Model Y. You know, obviously, if you're a Tesla investor, we can talk about FSD, we can talk about Optimus, we can talk about future products, but the Model Y is the company's bread and butter today. More than 50% of their volume is Model Y. They're selling more Model Y than every other model they make combined. So it's absolutely material when they update the Model Y. I think a lot of people knew this was coming. People who have the new Model 3, they could see what a huge improvement it was over the previous Model 3. And everyone knew that those improvements were coming to the Y and more. And now we've seen it launch in Shanghai. Rumor is it's launched in Berlin. And um, then we've just got North America. So I think there's going to be quite a bit of pent up demand for this thing. I think the update partially explains um, why you saw deliveries flat year over year in 2024. I think it was definitely a headwind on margins. There were heavy incentives, especially towards the end of the year that they had to offer to move those old Model Y. You can see right away they're selling this alongside the old Model Y with a higher mm -hmm. price in China. So higher volumes, higher price, that's really what this means. And when it's a product like the Model Y that's more than 50% of the volume, this is going to be a big part of meeting the guidance for this year to grow 20 to 30%. Isn't, isn't it funny, though, that um, especially, uh, particularly in the Tesla community, there seemed to be quite a number of folks who were saying that they did not like the look of the Model Y. Um, I I love it. I really do like it. The reason I like it is because I didn't really like the old version of it, snub toe, and snub, you know, the, the front looked like a snub nose. Um, this looks much nicer. And it has, they did just enough to make it really good. Um, and of course, it's going to go south. So that's the good news, right? It looks in like it's very successful. Uh, what did you think about the Model Y, Alexandra? I had one. I had one from 2022 to 2024. I loved it. Um, but it. I think the refresh is really more modern. I love how there are elements from the Cybertruck in it. Um, I, I'm, I think it's going to be a huge success. And um, I maintain my theory that they are very quickly producing the car in all three factories, Austin, Berlin, and yeah. Shanghai, that it's simultaneous rollout. I know I got a lot of heat from uh, Larry on that point that nobody has ever done that. Well, 
there are lots of things nobody has done until Tesla came around. And so I do believe they're going to be able to pull that off. Yeah, the Model Y is being spotted in California, um, being tested already. So there is that possibility, the rumor in Germany, it's, it was launched in 12 countries simultaneously. But this, this idea that they did this launch series, and it feels like they did a really good job of separating the brand new Model Y with the existing Model Y. Like Omar was saying, they were, they were actually even like being sold side by side right now. Um, that's brilliant. And they need to raise all the prices, right? So that um, there's a, even more of a separation when the more affordable models come, come into play. I, I think they've done a fantastic job so far. Um, is there any kind of features that you guys thought was the Model Y was, you know, kind of new that you didn't expect or the other way around, something you thought was going to be there but didn't come? Like some people are saying, well, it should have had the 40, um, sorry, the 48-volt um, architecture already and that didn't come. Um, it, it had the uh, stock, right, uh, turn signal stocks, and that should have been, you know, that was shocking that they put it back in. Um, what, what's your thought? What were you, anything you're expecting there, Omar? Yeah, I mean, I like the new look. Um, the old one was really kind of like a bigger Model 3. It looked kind of cute compared to the new one. It looks uh, a little sharper, a little tougher. So I like the light bar in the front and the rear. You know, we're really entering kind of a cyber era for Tesla. You know, as FSD, I think, becomes more prominent, you're seeing them adopt these light bars across the lineup. And um, I think people really like it when they see it. You know, you always see people sort of make these comments, whether it's the new Model 3 or the Cybertruck. But right. then you look at the sales figures. Cybertruck was the best selling electric truck in 2024. It outsold the Ford, the Rivian. Um, and, you know, how upset were people when they saw that thing for the first time? The new Model Y is much less radical by comparison. I think this will be the best-selling car in the world again in 2025. Do you have a comment about the uh, front, the camera and the front bumper? Yeah, it's really cool that it's got the front bumper camera. It's really handy on the Cybertruck. I think we're going to see going forward probably front bumper cameras on all of the vehicles. Yeah. And then uh, any, do you guys have any thoughts or any news about FSD being approved in China? So we've got, um, you know, small little bit, you know, there, there's F, the word uh, supervised appeared in FSD in the UI in the Chinese cars. They don't do that in Korea or Japan. And then just yesterday, the Chinese government approved Beijing to have level three autonomy. The regulations there is coming. Um, just a few things like this keep happening. Anybody here have any thoughts on expectations for FSD being approved in China? I mean, I'm hearing rumors about it all the time. I'm very careful with those rumors. So I'm, I'm commenting here clearly that it was only rumors. When we saw the stock price go up quickly yesterday at the close, there was a TikTok story, but there was also um, very quickly rumors about um, an FSD licensing deal. I heard at that mo uh, moment that um, China, in this mercantile environment of Elon getting involved with TikTok would offer FSD license in China. Again, this is all only rumor. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel this is really, you know, very edgy. And, and I mean, obviously stock price today just went back to where it was before. So I don't think there's much really there. 